Hey everybody, it's Pastor David from Walden Community Church. It probably would not surprise you to learn that in my entire life, I have never been to a high school football game. Never. Uh, not even when I attended high school till now. Like, I have never been to a high school game. Soccer game, baseball game, basketball game. Never went to a game. Ever. Ever. Right? <laughs> Um, I went to dances, but only a couple. I went to junior high dance. Uh, junior high dances, I used to go a lot. My friends went, and a junior high dance, if you've never been, uh, it's all the girls on one side of the gym, all the boys on the other side of the gym, and then people, on, boyfriends and girlfriends only danced when there was a slow song, but during fast songs, we all just walked around and talked and drank punch. In high school, I went to three. Okay, so out of all the high school dances, I went to three. I went to my junior prom, okay? We had a junior prom. I went to junior prom, I went to my senior homecoming, okay? And then I went to my senior prom. Those are the three dances I went to. The only reason I went to those dances, the only reason was because I had a girlfriend. I had a girlfriend and if I didn't have a girlfriend, then I didn't go to dances, right? I didn't have anybody to go with, so I didn't go because I wasn't gonna ask anybody. I wasn't gonna ask anybody. I wasn't gonna ask anybody out on a date and then face the fear of being rejected, right? Didn't wanna get rejected. Uh, and even out of all the dances I've gone to, never asked someone to dance. Uh, I had gone to nightclubs and stuff as I got older. You know, I'd go out, hang out with my friends. We'd go to dance clubs uh, in my early 20s. And out of all that time, I only asked one girl to dance in all that time. Okay, that's it. And, I, and we used to go to dance clubs like every weekend or every other weekend, like all the time. We would just go and we'd just listen to music and we'd just hang out. And in all that time, I'm dead serious. I've only asked one person to dance in my entire life. And uh, I kind of knew her. I kind of knew her. I was at a club. I saw her uh, sitting with a group of friends. And I instantly recognized her as somebody I kind of knew from high school. And I walked over and I was like, oh, hey, you know, because uh, we lived in different parts of uh, Sacramento. And so we just caught up about high school and, just, you know, what have you been doing since then? And then I said, oh, here's my moment. This is perfect, right? This is a perfect in. And I said, hey, would you like to dance? And she said, no. <laughs> so out of all the times I've ever asked someone to dance, I've only asked somebody one time and she rejected me. She rejected me. And since that time, I have never asked a girl to dance again. I haven't. I mean, yeah, I think that fear of rejection, it's always been there for me. I, I just, I was just never a very brave person because I guess I have this wall a lot of times because I'm just so afraid of being shot down. I, I mean, I had that friend, right? You had that one friend that said, what's the worst thing that's going to happen? She'll say no. Yeah, that was the worst thing that could happen. That was the thing I didn't want to have happen. And of course, I've experienced rejection later in life. You know, we get rejected from lots of things. You get rejected, you know, when you apply to colleges, you get rejected. Uh, when you go out on job interviews, you get rejected from uh, boyfriends and girlfriends, people break up with you, things like that, right? I mean, we, we experience rejection a lot, as probably more so as you get older, right? There's just more things for us to get rejected by. And, and I think when we get rejected, uh, we either act one of two ways. Like there's two common responses for being rejected. Uh, we can retreat, right? We can pull away, we can withdraw, or we retaliate. You know, we, we get our feelings hurt or something bad happens to us and then we take revenge, right? That sounds right, Re retreat or retaliate. So like, uh, you know, he breaks up with you and it came out of nowhere, so you retreat right? You just, you go to your room and you cry for a couple of days and you just say, just leave me alone. Or you go to his house and you pop all the tires on his car, right? You take revenge. And it's the same way when you're in an argument with somebody, you know, they, they say something hurtful to you and you'll either withdraw and get all silent and just be like, oh my gosh, I can't believe they said that. Or you say something verbally abusive back, right? But you take it up a notch because we always, you know, revenge is always a little bit higher, right? A little bit more aggressive. In my family, it's the silent treatment. 
and we've learned to be masters of it. Someone makes you mad, someone hurts you, you feel left out, you feel ignored, so what do you do? You leave, right? You leave. You go in your room, you walk away, you hide, you close the door, you cut them off, you stop speaking to them, you make them come to you, you make them miss you and go looking for you and make them feel sorry for what they did, make them come and apologize. That's how we resolve issues in my family. But I know that's not the right approach, and I know that's not the healthy thing to do, because that's not what I see Jesus do. It's not what I see Jesus do. In fact, in Revelation chapter 3, at the very end of the Bible, Jesus says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock, and if anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in to eat with him and he with me. What do I see Jesus doing? I see Jesus pursuing the relationship. When I put up the wall, when I close the door, where is Jesus? He is out side knocking on it. He's outside knocking on it. That's what we want to talk about this Sunday at Walden Church. We want to talk about rejection and being thankful that we have been accepted by Christ. Hey, we got two opportunities to worship for you this Sunday. We've got our 9.30 service with hymns and our choir, and then we have our 11 o'clock service, which is our more contemporary service with the worship team, and we have a full children's program from birth all the way through high school. We want to be your local church. I'll see you Sunday.